Guys, allow me to introduce you to the newest member of the family. It's a Ram 5500 service truck with a crane on it. You guys know that I've been using my F550 and Budge truck. Been using all sorts of different vehicles as our sport vehicles. And for a long time, I've wanted to build a service truck for myself. This build is gonna be pretty wild. It's still gonna be a service truck, like the severe duty, medium duty Ram 5500s, the F550s. So this build will be covered a little bit on my, our, our channel here, but it's gonna be covered in depth on the Sparks Motors YouTube channel. So for those of you who wanna see like the technical details, we've got liquid spring suspension coming for it. So all hydraulic shocks, get, getting rid of the leaf springs. And we're doing big 42, 43 inch tires, locking axles. It's gonna look a little bit like my Mega Ram Runner. So it's gonna look like an awesome kind of show-ish truck, but at the same time, we're gonna beat the living out of it. So this will all be brand new tools and stuff like that. It's not the nicest bet on the market, but the thing about service trucks right now is their prices through the roof. Since we we're gonna modify this thing so much, I didn't wanna go buy the nicest bed out there. So this one will work perfectly for what we're doing. We'll swap out the compressor, uh, put a welder on here, do all sorts of fun stuff. I think you guys are gonna like this build because it's gonna become not just a service vehicle, but also a recovery vehicle. We're gonna put mile marker winches on the front, rear, both sides. This thing is gonna be done up and it's gonna be the main sport vehicle for all of our missions like this. This is kind of its uh, maiden voyage in stock form. It'll probably be the last time you ever see it looking stock like this. I'm excited for this. All right, so as you might have seen on the Heavy D Sparks channel, we're getting a new vlog truck. Ladies and gentlemen, feast your eyes on the new vlog truck. This thing is gonna be put through the ringer. I'm talking, when we go on these recoveries, we're going off-road, we're going up mountains, we're going to ditches, we're going to a lot of extreme places. So this truck needs to be capable. So what we're doing, we're gonna put on some liquid springs. Yep, they are one of the ultimate suspension companies that's gonna allow this truck to be able to go anywhere, do anything, and fit some 41 inch tires under there. What we gotta do is take the bed off for two reasons. Number one, so you can see how we install the kit. So it's easy for you to watch. Number two, so it's easy for Doug to install. Plus, Doug really likes crawling underneath vehicles and getting dirt in his eyes and stuff. Right, Doug? Yeah, so, you know, all the mud you guys like to play in. <laughs> it's a good time. It's one of your favorite pastimes. So what you're gonna see is Doug take off all the parts to be able to lift the bed up so that we can get to the frame, we can drill new holes, we can install the new liquid spring suspension, and the guy that comes out will explain to you in detail how it works. Because all he told me was it's a hydraulic in nature lift that uses compressible liquid. I think it's gonna be cool. That's what that translates to me. It's gonna be cool. So. Keep your eyes on the new vlog truck. This is gonna be awesome. Doug, what are you doing? Hey, what's the plan of action here, man? Checking the utility belt off first. <laughs> this is a weird position for Doug. <laughs> <laughs> This is how we end this. You dirty animals. <laughs> <laughs> Clip right inside there. That clip's got to get pushed away so that can so go back. Come out. Yeah. You might be able to get more strike on that other side. There you go. been at it uh, 45 minutes to an hour. It's stripped, so now we're just drilling the holes so we can put all the parties on it. That'll be the next thing. So Doug, what are you drilling all these holes for, man? Big brackets. Whoa! The mounting brackets that we usually install on trucks, not this heavy duty. Right there? Yeah. So all the holes are drilled for this side. You're drilling new holes for the other side. Yeah. 
we're going to change out the uh, the brake hoses. We've got new, uh, new brake lines for it. Clearances our struts a lot better for the calipers. So we come off at a 90 and then bring it back over to the hard lines. So we'll be changing those out. Before we put our brackets on, a lot easier to get to it than, uh, than crawling underneath there with brackets on it. Right there's our half and half. Okay. So those will go up to a half and then these forward ones, half and half. We just ream those ones out of half. Yeah. Yeah. Get these okay. two and then these two. This is Carl from Liquid Spring. He's gonna help us put the kit on the truck, make sure we do it right, first of all, and then maybe we'll be able to do it for ourselves in the future. We'll see. That's right. I might be calling you every time. <laughs> no problem. You know, These are all the parts for the liquid springs that we're about to put on the vlog truck. Starting off a crosshair, upper control arms, lower control arms, track bar, new hangers for your, uh, for your control arms. Uh, this would be like our upper uh, control arm mounts on the top of the axle. This is, it goes under the axle for the lower control arm. This will be our side plates for our strut mounts that go into the frame. Track bar bridge that goes over the axle. That's going to keep the axle centered side to side. This is what we call our volume mounts. Volumes are the big tubes underneath there. Then we have our struts, our front struts, rear struts. Luckily, they sent a professional. <laughs> I've seen it done once. You see it done once? Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> well, you tell me where you want to start. So, yeah, we'll just start with the axle and uh, do that assembly first okay. and uh, get all the parts on there, the bridge, actual clamp roof is what we call it. And then from there, we'll uh, build up, keep okay. everything out of our way. Sounds good. All right, let's start with this one. Go underneath first. Over on top of the axle. And then it locks in. That will lock into this tab. Got it. So we're even right to left. First will be these guys. Okay. And then we just, they're gonna go underneath. And then our U-bolts come okay. from the bottom up. Where are you from, Carl? Uh, Florida now. Florida? Yeah, grew up in Oregon. Went to the Navy for 23 years. Seen the world. Ended up in Florida. What'd you do in the Navy? I was a structural mechanic, an AMS. Cool. Made Master Chief and uh, did a couple cool things. Nice work, I'll bet. Helped make the uh, Top Gun movie. Did you really? Yep, that was my first command when I was a young sailor. Tom Cruise and my airplane make facial expressions. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's really cool. I started in uh, a squadron called VF-1. Yeah. That was a wolf pack. That was the first Top Gun movie. My last command when I retired was VX-31. That was the last Top Gun movie. <laughs> That's rad. So he bookended my career. That's really cool. Yeah. That's yeah. really cool. What was your favorite place you went in the Navy? Favorite place? Australia was pretty cool. That's always a good place to go. You did Australia? Did Australia. Awesome. It was my 21st birthday, four days before we pulled in. Really? So it was exciting. Throw that upper on, just put a couple threads in. And then I'll be able to, I'll be able to hand it to you. Oops. Yeah, you can get yeah. that. Here we go. I do the same thing, but I left two pieces out. <laughs> I was too busy talking about Navy. <laughs> Me too, so I forgot mine. <laughs> the owl? <laughs> Had to be an owl. If you guys don't know what's going on in the background, Al is playing fetch with Annie. Nearly lost her magic rock. And what's our wet torque on these? It's a five step torque. So the first one's a 100-foot pound, 200, then 300. Okay. You want to handle the 300 and I'll get the rest, Doug? No. <laughs> we can use a gun, just go slow so we don't get no hot. We'll okay. just bring them down snug, and then we'll start bringing the torques up from there. Oh, did my gym work out for the year? <laughs> Looks like I won't need to go do that workout with Cole after all. <laughs> Get it. Yeah. Pretty workout. It's hitting Cole. There you go. 
Move on to the 600 pounders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, Carl, what's next? The front hangers. That'll be our uh, four link okay. hangers. Right there. I'll tell you, Cole called me and said, let's go film the bucked up ad. We're gonna go do a workout in the mountains. I took some of his uh, heat pre workout. Uh huh. And then they came to do this instead. And that, I'm just pouring sweat. So what we'll do is we'll just pull the side plates snug to the side and then we're going to draw the bottoms up. We okay. want the bottom, bottom flange first. snug against that okay. bottom. until we get it at right height we'll put our struts on it. So the liquid spring is uh, good to 50 below and that's where I took over the ambulance market. They used to run air rides on all the ambulances uh -huh. but the moisture, the corrosion and freezing uh, had a lot of maintenance issues. You've got a lot of airline fittings. All these fittings are uh, O-rings inside them because everybody went to a push connect. Well, those O-rings, they dry out and then they split and then you start leaking air. So now you've got every fitting that's in your air ride system that needs to be replaced yep. every so often. Nobody's going to do that. So with liquid spring, do you have to replace any of the parts really for the last vehicle? No. Really? It's really a maintenance-free uh, system, rubber bushings, so that's good for the life of the vehicle. Hydraulic lines are, um, it's a standard JIC fitting, just like your regular hydraulic systems. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing that's unique is the fluid. So we're gonna start with this guy. This is the hardest part to put in, so you get that opportunity. Uh, just inside that frame rail, you'll find the rubber bushing that holds the exhaust. That's gonna mount right in this area. So you gotta slide that between that rubber bushing inside the frame rail, and then you'll see these holes line up. All right. Cool. Did I understand cool. what cool. you just said? Cool. Cool. <laughs> cool. Hmm. There you go. Gotcha. Okay. Your skitter got her good? There she is. There it is. Sand <laughs> it. Take a rug. So this one's going to go through our track bar here okay. to here, but the whole stack up's going to go here. Gotcha. Perfect. We could lower it down to. Right height. Right height. Oh, oh, so we gotta take it off the jack stand, right? Yes. Look at nice and light. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. He's a hang on cheesy. Absolutely. So this is uh, building the power module uh, where we assemble the, the bracket 
that mounts it to the power module itself and then there's a little pan below it to protect the reservoir and then we put our front uh, manifold on there to control the front system so it'll be all integral when we get it done. Next day. Once we're at height, now the pressure is locked. The isolation valves from the pump shut off. So this fluid's under pressure. Typically, we're about 20, 25 to 2800 PSI mm. uh, at about 80% Gower. Okay. So now we're riding down the road, and that rod is basically as it's piercing and into that fluid, it's compressing this liquid. So with that, that's what's giving us the spring rate. Huh. So now with the rate valve, if we close that rate valve, we've just taken 80% of that fluid away. So a little bit of fluid, high spring rate. So we can get that in 40 milliseconds, we can change that from our base suspension to a high suspension. And that happens just at by higher code. speeds? High speeds. Gotcha. So we use steering, speed, brakes, high control, and accelerometer to control that. Drive down the road, you jerk the steering wheel, we instantly close Lock that, up. no body roll. <laughs> Does it run the same size shocks from there? Uh, different size, so rod size gives us our load carrying capacity. Right. So a bigger rod, you know, with pressure, mm -hmm. uh, gives you more load carrying. So the front, we run roughly about an inch rod in that one mm -hmm. for a 7,000, 7,200 pound front end. And then the rear, we do probably an inch and a half on this one for uh, 13,700 for the rear. Cool. Yep, at the same pressures. Yeah, yeah, very cool, man, I love it. This is awesome, you see this? I've been wanting one of these for a long time. It's been a couple of years that I've been following this, uh, this product and what they do. and. Now it's time. Enters off. That way we can get to uh, all the other stuff underneath. We're going to pull oh, yeah. the springs, the shocks, and all that stuff out. Not required to do the job, but there's other things easier. happening on this yeah. vehicle. Yeah. It might as well do it now. Might as well. DC baby, Doug Caldwell. Actually, it's holding an engine in place. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't need to remove that. We need to remove these ones. Well, we're going to have to pull them out anyway for the custom bumpers. Yeah, so you might as well pull them out, Cole. Okay, well. Back to your desk with you. No, I don't want to. <laughs> you can help Carl organize stuff. Hey, Carl. <laughs> You need help with anything? Yeah, we'll just spread, bring all the hardware down. And we'll just spread it out here so we got it organized. Thanks for letting him help, Carl. He's, he's a little special. I work with special kids all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Diesel Dave's supposed to be here eventually to help me. He said he would. I did it. I did it. Back to the office. <laughs> oh, hey Cole. Hey man. We're doing bumper delete kits again. Prime time. Ugh. Proud sponsor of the UFC. Yes. All right, front bumper delete kit. Having a good time out here. Initially. Ow! <laughs> My cat. <laughs> Hey guys, what are you doing? Nothing. Oh, if you want to grab this bumper that's about to hit me in the head, that'd be cool. <laughs> Carl just looked over here and he's like, oh, bumper's not off yet. There's a bracket that holds the bumper on. But you can't push the bolts out because it hits the frame. So you gotta take the front bumper brackets off of the other bracket. And maybe there's a better way to do it. I don't know, I couldn't tell you. That's what happens when you're a novice like me. Right here. This is the main bumper bracket. Thanks, buddy. Well, you take the bolts off, or nuts off. You can't quite slide it out all the way because that bracket hits the... It's whatever's over that it's hitting. So you can't quite get it off, so you gotta take these front bolts off. Pop that off, pop the bumper off this, then pull that out, I don't know. Beep, bop, boop, beep, 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 beep. Right now it's all hearsay. Hooray! We did it! It only took us three hours. 
<laughs> Carl got an ass down. We're gonna unload the uh, the suspension. Basically, probably use the lift, jack it up a little bit, take all the tension off the uh, springs, shock absorbers out, springs out, control arms, drive shaft, and then we'll start modifying parts. So with that, serious day today. Yes. Yeah. Serious day. Get serious. now is a four and a half inch hole saw. We're gonna open up the pocket so our strut can come through. Ooh. So this is a beveled edge. So we're gonna use that as our centering tool. Okay. So that'll come up from underneath. And then bore a four and a half inch hole through there. Nice. Um, I'd recommend maybe a 90 degree. Okay. <laughs> or a very strong wrist. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Doug. I got something for you. <laughs> 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 Dude, was it worth it? So worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nice, Alec. Get in there. Open your mouth. No. You did that with your so bare mad? hands. All right, can you drill from the bottom? There you go. Use that as your guide. Oh, we're going to have a hard time letting you go at the end of this. What do we do without you? Uh, I'm, I'm sure everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, inside out on this one. Doug, what are you doing? I'm drilling more holes. That's what I do. I drill holes. That's the uh, lower uh, strut mount. Now we're uh, putting on the track bar bracket. Uh, once we get the track bar bracket up in there, then we'll lower the truck down and get our lower part of the strut into the lower axle clamp. And that'll get all of our front end back together. Then we'll work on hydraulic hoses and electric sensors. We're getting really close. So we'll have this front end together today, no problem. I think we're looking for uh, an Annie toy. We lost the top of our strut. So Annie was playing with one like that. We'll have to find it. I think the dog ate it. Literally, the dog ate it. Dog ate our homework. Well, we can move forward. At least get the sway bar on it, and um, we'll put the uh, new end link on later. Go here. Fast we go from the bottom up. Okay, we'll put it on the same way. So flip it over. There you go. Yep, yep. We're just making it lean forward.
big guy. Pull your jack back out just a little bit. I'll give you that side. Got it. To the rear of the truck. Push it in. Oh, we're, we're ahead of schedule. Way ahead of schedule. That's great. What, what's left to do? Right now, um, the hoses will run back to the back. The power module is mounted now. Okay. Um, height sensors, and then really just start running electrical. Good job, Doug. That was awesome. We did it. Liquid Springs installed, which means we're one step closer to putting this truck to work. Absolutely. All thanks to Carl. If thank everyone could in the comments right now, just say thank you to Carl. Well, I couldn't have done without you. You know, a lot of torque putting on these things. <laughs> these little guns just didn't have enough, so appreciate all the help you I had. I feel like there. I might have held you back more than, <laughs> more than I helped. <laughs> Carl's like, get out of my hair. I could have been done an hour ago. <laughs> no, this was good. It has been a lot of fun. Uh, you know, coming out here, putting this together, and I uh, really look forward to seeing what you guys have uh, in store for it. And we're looking forward to using it. You what bet. you should do right now is go look at liquidsprings.com, check out their kits, because we're gonna put it to work, we're gonna prove that it's awesome, and then you're gonna want it, which means you're gonna wanna have already checked it out so that you can then purchase it. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Right on, well, Carl's gotta go visit some other customers, and we gotta finish working on the vlog truck, so you stay tuned for some awesome stuff. Thank you, Carl. Thanks, appreciate See it. You, buddy. Take care.